Okay, so this is uh, this is Judgment Day, which is a plural tr transgender Egbert fan fiction. Um, it is pretty good so far. We have just as a refresher. Uh -huh. Um, there's there will be some Egbert da Egbert Dave. There will be some Dave Cat. There will be some Rosemary. Uh, we've got basically everybody who's alive at the end of Homestuck, plus some OCs and an unnamed Nacodile. Um, <laughs> as uh, as there should be. <laughs> and then we've got uh, gender dysphoria. It's set on Earth C. This does feature some content from the epilogues. Did you ever dissociate your entire entire childhood away? Haha, ha, John can't dissociate his trans John Egbert. It's gonna get happier. Suicide attempt. Can a compliant trans female character trans mask Dave Strider trans femme John Egbert trans male character? Uh, trans girl Jade. June Egbert freeform tag. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> June plurality multiplicity. And then we are on chapter oh. 12, 11. A dog barks in the night. <laughs> Jade and Egbert have a talk. Uh, and uh, also, it's going to be you and me. So, uh. Okay, cool. I will take, uh, I will take the June, the Vriska stand-in, and Jade. Okie dokie, <laughs> I'll be Dave Spray and the narrator. Sounds good to me. Alright, uh, I don't think there's any specific content points for this chapter. Alright, so you want us to call you Vivi. Yeah, that feels right, and I know she likes that name. I do. Thank you. All right, damn. It's real easy to tell who is who, LMAO. I thought it would be like difficult because you're both in the same body. It's like there's a fucking transformation. Hun Strider, that's unlike you. Damn it, that was unintentional. Got me again, trapping me with your shitty puns. So, like, you got the lowdown, right? Do I need to explain things again? Nah, I think it makes sense. Your bro tried to raise a young man, and you also felt that way despite being born different. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Damn, and here I thought I'd have to write a fucking essay detailing every single thing in immense detail. Thank god I don't have to do that. Yes? Can I...? Strider. Listen, I need to ramble. My bones. My bird bones. But also my human bones. My combination bird-human bones. Wait, do I even have bones, or am I still some sort of weird game construct? Ask me a dumb question about Sverb? Dave, what is this about? <laughs> I don't know, I think I'm a little something right now. It's this weird feeling that I'm like floating on air and feeling really, really good. But I was feeling like shit just an hour ago. That sounds not normal. Do you feel like this often? Maybe. Why? Uh, if it's consistent, it has to be something, right? Maybe it's like our multiple personality disorder. Fuck. Do you think so? Fuck. Just finish your nails, girl. How do they look? Oh, we love them! Fucking yeah, you do. Even nailed that little spider design. I didn't know you were this good at painting nails, Dave. Listen, Jade demands me to. She won't let me go, Vivi. She won't set me free. I am bound to do her nails, and so I have become the best at nails. Did someone call for me? Fuck. No! Strider was just saying how he's your nail tech. Oh yeah, he's the best at nails. He volunteered to do it for me when I alchemized some nail polish, and then I realized I've never painted my nails before, and Dave showed up. Huh. Is that so, Strider? This isn't what it looks like? Looks like you just baited me into almost staging a full-on nail rebellion against our cruel overlord, Harley. Oh. Oh, wait, that's Jade. Oh, I did nothing of the sort. He was free to stop anytime he wanted. Did you Ooh. Just... <laughs> <laughs> did you just... Did you just oo-woo out loud? Yes. Oo-woo. I... I need some air. We are on a battleship hurling through a space outside of cannon, and you need to get some air. JFC. Okay, I need to leave the room. 
Oof. Was it something I said? I don't know. He seemed to be in such a good mood, like, a few minutes ago, and then his entire demeanor dropped as soon as you came in. Huh. It was like, hey, what's that thing called? What? Mood swings? Yeah, mood swings. It's so weird to see you have a conversation out loud with yourself. Sometimes I forget that it's just the two of you. Yeah. Hey, Vivi, what's what you two want to be called right now? That's what you two want to be called right now, right? Yeah, until Egbert over here can pick out a new name. I said that's what I'm calling you. What? I'm calling you. No, you're not. You're, you're right here. Wake up. Egbert's eyes flared open to her phone, vibrating on the ground and playing a ringtone that she had assigned to Jade years ago. Jade was calling her. Steve and Carcat were asleep on each other, with Carcat curled up on his lap. Egbert stared at her phone. She answered. Hey! Congratulations! Jade? Yeah, it's me. It's 4 a.m., Jade. Yeah, I, I couldn't sleep. There was something in her voice that Egbert couldn't detect. Something underlying and hidden that he could probably detect. But she wasn't here right now. Are you disassociating again? No, I'm just tired. I can call back later. No, no, it, it's good to hear from you, Jade. I missed you. Silence. Then another sigh. Is it? Is it really? There was hostility in her voice. That was a tone Eg that Egbert knew. Yes. Well, the last time we spoke, it seemed... Jade cut herself off and took a deep breath. I just called to say congratulations to my new sister. I have some old dresses and clothes that I think might fit you, and I would... Jade's voice faltered. Jade, are, are you okay? I didn't... I... I... I didn't think you would pick up. It's four in the morning. Why would you be awake? Why would you answer? I was just going to leave a voicemail and be done with it. The you in my dream told me that you were calling me in to wake up. Do you dream about me? She sounded like she was crying. N not you, but... Of course, the other me. It's always the other me, isn't it? The one who got to know this version of you. The one who was your best fucking friend and sister and confidant and not the Jade that was all left all alone on the meteor by herself for two fucking years. Even Dave and Carcat immediately jumped here aid and left me here at the house alone. You know what? This was a mistake. This was... She stopped. Egbert couldn't hear anything. Jade, are, are you still there? Jade took a deep breath on the other line. I I'll have some clothes with Rose that you can have. T don't call me back. The line clicked and went dead. Egbert stared, pulled her phone away from her ear, stared at her phone. Her lock screen image showed herself and Jade back when they had dressed up as Ghostbusters for Halloween. She clicked his phone shut and tried to get back to sleep. <laughs> oh. Eben said this feels so canon. I'm like, yeah, yeah. This is uh this is kind of what I fucking wanted. From Yeah, like it takes the stuff in canon and like actually addresses the implications of it. 